that it is unfair to the public servants. What's not true? What you just said. What's is, not, what? What is it, it is, true? It is not true that the actions we took in AIG were for the benefit of anybody but the millions of Americans who at that point were suffering from the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. The only way to help reduce that damage, protect that damage, was to fix the system and prevent catastrophic failure that would have made that crisis worse. You had no knowledge of any cover-up, right? Uh, or intent not to give full information and disclosure? Uh, of course not. Of course not. So you took credit for the decision, but not the cover-up. No, no, I, I, no, no. You've, dist you've distanced yourself from any cover-up before November 24th, and then, of course, you were out of the picture from November 24th forward. Is that correct? Uh, Congressman, I'm not trying to distance myself from anything. I will take well, complete responsibility for decisions I was uh -huh. played a role so, in shaping, was part of shaping, including all decisions up to the 24th on this case. And I'm happy to take responsibility for all decisions I've made then, then you were since aware then, too. of 100 cents, 100 cents on a, day, a dollar bail. A absolutely. A absolutely. And uh, the risk uh, that, that was posed by uh, that, uh, that offer. So you knew about that, but you weren't attempting to cover up. That's your testimony Of course not. Today. Okay. Uh, so I, I believe either you made a bad uh, decision there uh, or, in fact, there was the attempt to cover up one, one of the biggest bailouts, backdoor bailouts, uh, in, in history. Uh, now, you've tried to frame it as you did it because um, you did it in the interest of the people and the, failing, uh, the failure of the system. I'm telling you, I believe these are lame excuses. Either you were in charge and did the wrong, wrong thing or you participated in the wrong thing. This to, uh, it, to me, it appears like, you know, when you were uh, being confirmed, uh, a lot of controversy surrounded you're not paying your taxes. You gave lame excuses then. I believe you're giving the that, that, that is lame excuses now. And I want my final question is, why shouldn't we ask for your resignation as Secretary of the Treasury? I have worked in public service all my life. I have never been a politician. I have served my country as carefully and ably as I can. And it is a great privilege to me for me to work with this president to help repair the damage that, that was here when we took office. Yes. And I will do so as long as he asked me to do so, to the best of my ability, with great pride in this country and in him. Yeah. Again, I think you're, you're punning the blame, and I think you're trying to position yourself as uh, the savior of the you don't, you don't know me very well. institution. And yet, you, you, don't, believe, you don't know me very well. I believe I will take... that we're not getting the whole story. We're getting a lame story in a monumental backdoor decision of bailout for which the American taxpayers will stay on the hook for. These are credit default swaps. So the money going into AIG is going right out to the counterparties. This is a, this is a pass through. And the folks on the other side are Goldman Sachs. Largely, that's, that's a principal beneficiary of all this. And we don't negotiate a nickel, not a cent, off of what they're getting. You're in the same position. You're supposed to be negotiating on behalf of the American people. Now, you're saying, oh, the regulations were different. Let me tell you something. We were changing the rules and regulations every single day. We were taking action, the Fed, under 13.3, under extraordinary circumstances. You had every opportunity, every opportunity to weigh in on behalf of the American people and make these people take a new deal. Congressman, I respect your opinion. I know you hold those opinions strongly but I completely disagree. The American taxpayer would not have been better off if the government had made it possible for equity holders and Bear Stearns to get more money. The American taxpayer would not have been better off if we had let AIG default. If it would have been possible, we would have done it. Why would I want to be sitting here before you today having to defend actions that look like they could have been avoided. There is nobody who was part of that decision that would not have done that if it would have been possible. I try to be as careful as I can in explaining the reasons why it was not possible, but it comes down to this basic tragic choice. If you are prepared to default, you can impose haircuts. If you can't accept the consequences of default, you do not have any leverage. It would have been vastly more expensive to the American taxpayer 
it would have been much more damaging to people you and I care about, people you and I wake up every day worrying about, if we had let that firm fail. There was no choice between default and the restructuring of those contracts, and they left the taxpayers better There was no off. shared gentlemen, sacrifice, gentlemen, 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 no shared gentlemen, sacrifice gentlemen, gentlemen, for gentlemen, Goldman gentlemen, Sachs and the American people. You previously stated that you had never been a politician. I want to assure you from your answers today that you are absolutely a politician.